hypnotized before? Ever? Were you in my show? Oh, but you have been hypnotized before. No. Oh, okay. But you have been hypnotized before. That was a question. Yes, okay. All right. So in order to go into hypnosis, you must be able to pay attention. Okay? So everybody's going to have to pay attention to me. No goofing around. No trying to, you know, start giggling and laughing. Because what's going to happen? There's going to be something sitting beside you that's going to really want to experience this. And if you're giggling and laughing, you're going to be disturbing them and you're going to not let them experience it. Okay? So everybody's just going to have to just concentrate. Make this your own experience. Okay? Now, here's what's going to happen. How many of you guys drive? How many of you guys drive? Okay, so this, this is going to relate to everybody. How many of you have gotten in a car, turned your engine on, put the radio on, started driving to your destination, and if you thought back about that trip, how many of you can actually remember the details of that trip? None of them. <laughs> the reason is, ladies and gentlemen, whenever anybody drives, you automatically go into a state of hypnosis. Your mind just starts thinking about other things, okay? Most people call that daydreaming, but there's an actual clinical term for that. It's called highway hypnosis. So another experience about going into hypnosis is this example. When you lay your head on the pillow at night, and you start going into that hazy, daisy, dreamy state, that's hypnosis too. It's a natural phenomenon that each and every one of you go into, okay? So that's basically what's gonna happen. Now hypnosis, the state of hypnosis is not actually like deep sleep, it's actually a heightened state of awareness. So as you're sitting on the chairs, you're gonna get really relaxed. So if you start feeling yourself slip out of that chair, you're gonna be able to easily just readjust yourself to stay safely in the chair at all times. Because we don't want you slipping out of the chairs, we want you to stay safely seated in those chairs, okay? Does everybody understand that? Great. Okay, now here's the other thing. When people get hypnotized, they might be sitting here and going, hmm, I see Jimmy G, I hear Jimmy G, I see my friends in the audience, I see my friends sitting beside me, I must not be hypnotized. Yes, you are, you just don't know it. So, everybody stay seated in your chairs unless you feel me tap you twice on the shoulder like this. And then you quickly become a wide awake, totally conscious, you just head back down the stairs, just join your friends out in the audience. Doesn't mean you can't be hypnotized, doesn't mean you're not hypnotized. Just means that you're not deep enough to carry on with the show. Because from here on in, I'm looking for the best hypnosis rock stars that are going to go deeply into hypnosis to carry on with the show. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Okay. One, uh, a couple other things. During the hypnosis process, uh, you may feel me touch your head, your shoulders, your arms, or your hands. Is everybody comfortable with that? Okay. Somebody's excited about this, huh? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's okay. All right, so final thing is, when you're hypnotized, as I explained, it's just like when you go to sleep at night, you're gonna get super relaxed. So we're gonna practice what that feels like as well, okay? So everybody take your head, put it on the shoulder of the person to your right. If you're at the end, you're the anchor, okay? There we go, that's it. I know the big chair, so just lean everybody's friends here. Okay, sit straight up. Put your head on the shoulder of the person to your left. You're the anchor. Sit straight up. Shake each other's hands. Say, see you in a half an hour. Can we give our volunteers a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. So, like I said, we're going to be testing to see, now we're going to just see who the rock stars are that are sitting in these chairs right now. So everybody just follow along with my suggestions this time make what I suggest to you real in your mind as well. Everybody sit back in your chairs, okay? Get nice and comfortable, put your feet flat on the floor, put your hands straight out like this. Make sure your elbows are locked, okay? Now, I, on the count of three, when you hear me say the number three, I want you to bring your hands together, interlock your fingers, and close your eyes. One, two, three. And I want you to start concentrating on your hands. I want you to start locking those hands together as tight as you possibly can. Locking and squeezing, squeezing and locking, locking and squeezing, squeezing and locking, locking them tighter, tighter, tighter. I want you to start imagining that those hands are now locking together, locking together like one solid mass of flesh, one solid block of wood or steel. See that happen in your hands? Feel that happen in your mind as you squeeze them tighter 
and tighter and tighter. And now I want you to imagine that there's a huge bottle of crazy glue right above your hands. See that crazy glue bottle turn upside down. See the nozzle start to twirl open. See the crazy glue start to pour out all over your hands. You can see it in your mind. You can feel it in your hands as you squeeze tighter and tighter and tighter. Now some of you even may feel my hands on top of yours. And my hands are going to come around and lock those hands together. Locking them completely. Locking them. Locking them tightly. Locking them completely. Sealing them completely locked together. Tighten, tighten, squeezing, tighten. That's it. Locking, squeezing, squeezing, and locking totally together. And you're going to start to realize that those hands are completely locked together. Locked together like one solid mass of flesh, one solid block of wood or steel. In a moment, you're going to hear me count from one to three. And when I say the number three, you can try to release those hands, but you're going to realize that they're absolutely locked together, completely welded shut. And the more you try to release those hands, the more locked they will become. The more you try, the more locked they will become. The more they try, the more locked they will become. I do not want you to test to see if you can even release your hands until you're absolutely certain that they're completely locked together. On the count of three, try to release your hands. One, two, three. The more you try, the more locked they will become. The more you try, the more locked they become. You may feel me come around and just grab your hands just like this, right there. You feel me go up and down and all around. You just want to lean this way to sleep. You just go all the way down. Loose. Limp, relax. If you don't like anybody lean up against you, you just want to sleep all the way down. Loose, limp, relax. Think it this way. Sleep all the way down. Loose, limp, relax. Twice as deep. Feel those arms. Just go all the way down. Loose, limp, relax. Sleep all the way down. Loose, limp, relax. Twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Loose, limp, relax. Sleep body all the way down. Feel my hand on your shoulder. Drop down twice as deep. Twice as relax. Sleep down all the way down. Twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Feeling my hands on top of yours it helps you sleep all the way down. Loops, limp, relax. Lean this way and just sleep twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Sleep all the way down. Loose, limp, relax. Hold down twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. All the way down. Feel those hands right there and you just want to lean this way and relax. There we go. Let it all go again. Just relax those hands. Relax. Try to pull them apart. You just want to sleep all the way down. Loose. Limp, relax, twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Look at those hands right there. What's your name, sweetheart? What is it? Hi, Carla. Try to get those hands apart. Pull, 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 sleep. Oh, way now, Carla. There we go. Loose, limp, relax, twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Now, for the audience, from this point forward, for about five minutes, I'm going to need your total concentration, your total positive attitude your absolute silence to let these wonderful people go deeply into the state of hypnosis. For everybody that's on these chairs on this stage, I want you to just simply concentrate on the sound of my voice and the sound of the music that plays behind my voice. Relaxing you twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Noticing that the deeper down you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper down you go. So why don't you just simply let go now and drop down twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Letting it all go down. Feeling so good as you breathe in, you relax, as you exhale, you relax even more. Feeling so good as you just relax even deeper now. Some of you may even feel me come around and grab your hands if they're still locked together. You'll feel my hands just loosen up those fingers and drop you down even deeper. Sleep all the way down. Loose, <laughs> limp, relax. Relaxing those fingers helps you drop down twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Loosening up those hands drops you down twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Loosen up those hands. Deep or relax. Just let everything go now. Loosen up those fingertips dropping you down twice as deep. Twice as relaxed. Loosening up those hands drops you down even deeper now. Loose, limp. Relax, loosen up those fingers, drop it down even deeper. Twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Deeper, relax, that's it. Go down deeper, that's it. Just lean this way, go all the way down. Loose, then relax, loosen up those hands, you drop down twice as deep as well. Feeling so good as you drop even deeper as those hands loosen up. You drop even deeper, twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Loosen up those hands, drops you down even deeper. Loose, limp, relaxed. Feeling so good as you drop down even deeper. Every breath you take in relaxes you every time you exhale and relaxes you even more. You're starting to realize that you're relaxing from your head all the way down to your toes. And as soon as I mention your toes, it 
good to bleed in your left foot or possibly even your right foot that just became a little more loose, and relaxed. Feeling that beautiful wave of relaxation start to wash up your body and your lower legs becoming more and more relaxed. As you breathe in, your chest muscles relax. As you exhale, your back muscles become even more relaxed. Feeling anybody lean up against you, you support them. They support you. It helps both of you relax even deeper now. And you're all relaxing in a beautiful way, perfect way of relaxation. And now we're going to relax you mentally. Here's how we're going to do it. You see, each and every one of us communicates with our subconscious minds first and foremost. Even if I was to suggest to you not to picture something in your mind, you can easily do it. And I'm going to give you three visualizations I do not want you to imagine. Do not imagine the Eiffel Tower. Do not even picture the Statue of Liberty. Do not even see the American flag. And if you can now see the Statue of Liberty, the American flag, or the Eiffel Tower in your mind, just nod your head up and down perfect. I'm going to give you another visualization. This visualization is of a beautiful elevator that's right in front of you. And you see the shiny metal doors slide open. You feel yourself glide into that elevator. You're safe, you're confident to ride in it. Those uh, floors will pass by quickly in your mind. As the elevator starts going down now, you're going to hear me count out those floors as they pass by quickly in your mind. And then I'm going to say two words. Those two words are deep or relaxed. And we'll relax you twice as deep, twice as relaxed. The elevator starts going down now. Ten, go down deep or relaxed. Nine, go down deep or relaxed. Eight, go down deep or relaxed. Start to find the numbers I call under a burden in your mind. Burden that you can simply let go of by simply letting go. Today is gone, tomorrow is a million miles away as you're totally guided by the sound of my voice and the sound of the music that plays behind my voice, relaxing you in every single way. As you reach the halfway point, you double that relaxation. Five, sleep down deep or relaxed. Four, sleep down deep or relaxed. Three, sleep down deep or relaxed. Two, one, sleep down deep or relaxed. If you've arrived in a beautiful state of relaxation. In a moment, I'm going to be quiet. I want you to record the sound of this music for tonight and tonight only. Every time you hear the sound of this music, it quickly and safely brings you back to this perfect state of relaxation. Record the sound of this music now. Every time you hear the sound of this music, it quickly and safely brings you back to this perfect state of relaxation. Every time I say the word sleep, it quickly and safely brings you back to this perfect state of relaxation. You may begin to notice that there's a seatbelt around your waist. It's strapped you firmly and securely into that chair. If you feel yourself slipping out of that chair at any point in time, you are easily able to readjust yourself and drop down twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Sitting safely and securely in your chair, you are strapped into that chair with a seatbelt and in that way you will never slip out of it. Unless instructed to do otherwise, you are always to remain safely and securely seated in your chair. Also, all applause you hear, all laughter you hear makes everything suggested to you real in your mind. All applause you hear, all laughter you hear makes everything true and real in your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our volunteers. All applause you hear, all laughter you hear makes everything real and true in your mind. In a moment, you're going to realize that there's a beautiful helium balloon floating right in front of you. There's a string attached to that helium balloon. It's your favorite colored helium balloon. And I want you to just simply reach out with one of your hands, grab onto the string of the helium balloon floating right in front of you right now. Quickly, grab it. Grab onto it. That's it. Don't let it go. Make sure it doesn't get away. That's it. Hold onto it. It's looking for higher and higher. Higher and higher. Higher and higher. Oh yeah, it feels so good to hang on to that helium balloon. Just lifting your arms all the way up. And in a moment, I'm going to count to three. That helium balloon will turn into a huge hot air balloon. You're going to have to hold on to it with both of your hands. All this will happen on the count of three. One, two, three. Grab onto that big hot air balloon. Just lifting your arms higher and higher. Higher and higher. Oh my goodness. Yes, you can feel like you're going to the surface.
Alexander. Give a big round of applause for Alexander. All applause you hear, all laughter you hear makes everything real in your mind. Dropping you down 20. Deeper and deeper. The more applause you hear, the more laugh you hear. Double style relaxation. We're going to keep Alexander up here for a couple minutes. As you can see, she's kind of trapped up here. So. In a moment, all of you are going to realize that you're all professional musicians. You have the ability to play any instrument in the world. It could be the guitar, it could be the drums, it could be the piano, it could even be the trumpet. Those instruments are right in front of your chairs. You're here at Lanthier High School to play the concert of a lifetime. The more the audience cheers for you, the more talented you will become, the more you're going to want to show off your musical skills. I want all musicians to bend over and pick up your favorite instrument in front of your chair right now. Quickly, get ready to play. That's it, get ready to play. As soon as you hear that music, start playing to the best of your ability. One, two, three, start playing your instruments out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best of Sun is very strong in Cancun, Mexico. So on the count of three, 
I want you to just lean back in your lounge chair, stretch out your legs, and enjoy an all-inclusive vacation with all of your best friends. One, two, three. <laughs> Chilling on the beach. Oh yeah. That's it. With all your best friends, you deserve this vacation. Finally, you're on spring break. That's it. Oh, yes. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, you can feel the sand between your toes, the sun on your skin. Perfect day here in Cancun, Mexico. Great to be on vacation. But you just realized, boy, that sun is really strong. You forgot to put your sunblock on this morning. Quickly, get that bottle of sunblock out. Quickly. That's it. Make sure your arms are all covered up, your legs are all covered up. You don't want to get a sunburn. That would just ruin your whole vacation. <coughs> That's it. Make sure you're all covered up. There we go. And you're with your best friends, but you realize your best friend right beside you, they're missing a spot on their forehead. Make sure their forehead's all covered up. You don't want them to get a forehead. Right? That, that would just, just ruin everybody's vacation. They'd have to spend the whole vacation in a hotel room with a forehead burn. And now it's up to 95 degrees, 100 degrees, 110 degrees. It's starting to get so hot. It's sticky. Love you. 120 degrees, your forehead is starting to sweat. 130 degrees, your under hours are getting all sweaty. Back of your knees are getting all sweaty. Oh, oh my goodness, it's getting so hot. It's sticky. Muggy. You're sweating so badly now. Oh my goodness, you can feel pools of sweat in your belly button. Oh, it's like you got a swimming pool of sweat. In your belly button. Oh my goodness, that feels so gross. Oh. And now you feel your feet starting to sweat. It's like water stink sprinklers coming out of your feet. Oh my god. Oh. And as you breathe in, woo, that's some stinky feet smell coming from your feet. Boy, your feet are really sweating. It won't make you sick or anything, but boy, that's some stinky feet sweat. Wow, that smells bad. And you realize as bad as your feet stink? Your friend's feet stink worse than yours. Oh my goodness, the person right beside you, boy, they got even stinkier feet than yours. Oh. Woo. And your mouth is getting so dry and parched. It's like your, your tongue is sticking to the roof of your mouth. Oh, it's getting so hard to swallow. It'd be so nice to get a nice cold drink. But in order to get a nice cold drink, you gotta get the beach breaker's attention quickly. He's walking down the beach. Who wants a drink? Quickly. Quickly. Flag him down. Hold out your glass so he knows what you want. There we go. But you forgot where your mouth is. Try and drink it. You forgot where your mouth is. It's around your head somewhere. Oh, that didn't work. You just spilt it all over the place. Hold on your glass again, he'll fill it up. There we go. You remember where your mouth is this time. Drink it all down. Drink it all down. Oh, that taste is so delicious. That was so delicious. If you want another one, go ahead. This is all inclusive, so if you want another one, just hold on your glass. You can drink that one down too. That's fine. Because it was really hot. And, but something's gone drastically wrong. The beach waker, he mixed up your drink order. You didn't drink ice water. You just drank a couple glasses of giggle juice. <laughs> this is the real funny giggle juice, too. <laughs> it's tickling inside your mouth. <laughs> it's tickling under your arms. <laughs> See it tickling behind your knees. <laughs> <laughs> you can even feel it tickling your belly. It's going. Goo -tie, goo -tie, goo -tie, goo -tie, goo -tie. Now you feel it tickling your feet like a thousand tiny fingers tickling your feet. There's a thousand tiny fingers tickling your feet. It'd still be so nice to get a nice cold glass of water. Here, hold up that glass one more time. He'll get that drink order, right? Just splash it in your face, that'll pull you off. Oh yeah. 
I brought the temperature back down to 85 degrees, 75 degrees, 65 degrees, 55 degrees. You just splash that ice water all over yourself from your head all the way down to your toes. It's down to 45 degrees. Something weird's happening. It's like I brought a freak snowstorm into Cancun, Mexico. It's now down to 25 degrees. The wind is howling. Minus 10, the snow is flying. Minus 20, your toes are tingling. Minus 30, your fingertips are tingling. Your nose is tingling. Your ears are freezing. Your whole body is just made of ice. Oh my goodness, it's now minus 40. So freezing cold. There's only one way to survive this winter blast. Just cuddle up with the person right beside you. Quick, use body heat. <laughs> they won't care, they're freezing too. Quickly. <laughs> it helps if you wrap your legs around the other person. <laughs> In a moment, I'm gonna count to three. When I say the number three, it's going to be back to 85 degrees. You're going to wonder why you're hugging your best friend. One, two, three. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Back to 85 degrees, sun is shining, the sky is blue. Just lean back in your mouse chair. There we go. You're on vacation. Everything's cool. Yeah, catch your little tan. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but just relax. There we go. Lean back. Relax. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. Just a perfect day, you feel the sun on your skin, the skin between your toes, you're looking out of that bright blue ocean. You're starting to get a fantastic idea. You're starting to think, man, it'd be such a blast to go for a little boat ride this afternoon. So on the count of three, you're gonna find yourself behind the wheel of a big, powerful speedboat. You're gonna go for a little boat ride. One, two, three, grab that steering wheel, go for a little boat ride. There we go, right up. Check your seat belts, make sure you're all strapped in. You don't wanna fall out, you're out in the middle of the ocean. There we go. Or a boat ride. Make a left turn. Make a right turn. Go straight. Wave at all your friends on the beach because you're having way more fun than them. <laughs> Look over the side of the boat and see if you see any fish. Back on shore. You're safe. That was close. Look at that shark swimming back out to the ocean. Look at him out there. He wasn't even a mean shark. Look at him. Oh, poor little sharky. Look. He was a friendly shark. He just wanted to play with you. Oh, look, he's all sad now. He's going to go to the ocean. Poor little sharky. Oh, you're starting to feel bad about this, too. You want to make it up to him. So in order to make him up to him, everybody blow him a big kiss. Watch that kiss go all the way out to the shark. As soon as it touches the shark's cheek, you just turned into a magical dolphin. Look at that magical dolphin out there. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Splashing around. <laughs> Doing little backflips for you. Waving his little flippers at you. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. Yeah, you can wave to him too. Look at him. Look at that little cute dolphin out there. <laughs> Count of three, everybody talk really loudly to your dolphin. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Keep talking loudly to your dolphins, guys. Person I'm 
touching now on the left shoulder. What's the name of your dolphin? Moose. I heard Moose the Dolphin loves dolphin jokes, so you can tell Moose the Dolphin a dolphin joke in dolphin language. Go! <laughs> that is dolphin. That's dolphin. Can, can you tell a dolphin joke? No. Can you? Alright, you tell your dolphin a dolphin joke in dolphin language. Go. That was one high pitched dolphin joke. <laughs> Dude, what's the name of your dolphin? Sharky. <laughs> that is a killer name for a dolphin. Yes. Well, listen, you want to tell him a quick story or you want to tell him something? Because obviously, it sounds like he's a pretty cool dolphin. Yeah. Okay, you tell him a story of a dolphin. Go. Yee, 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 yee. <laughs> Obviously, these guys over here liked it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to teach you all how to be a hypnotist in three seconds. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. When all of you guys hear the crowd say uh, Jimmy G, you're going to go right back to sleep. Say it nice and loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Give him a big round of applause. It is your William St. Corona Young Chair. Well done. Nice and deep. 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 Person I'm touching now. Person I'm touching now. Person I'm touching now. Person I'm touching now. I'm touching now. Each one of you has cool magic shoe bolts. <laughs> one's on your left foot, one's on your right foot. If, it's, if they're not on your feet, though, if they're in front of you, you can see them. And if there's ever an emergency during this performance, you will take off your magic shoe bolt, hold it up to your ear, and dial 911. In case there's ever an emergency, take off your magic shoe bolt off your foot, hold it up to your ear, and dial 911. All of you are going to realize that you're all back in grade school. Your favorite class in grade school, I'm your teacher. Anytime you see my face, you're going to be filled with happiness. You're going to feel so much joy. You're going to be just smiling. You're going to be so happy to see my face. But anytime you see the back of my head or the back of my jacket, you're going to think I'm the meanest, grouchiest teacher in the world. You're going to make silly, goofy faces at me behind my back. All this will happen on the count of three. One, two, three. Sitting up straight, class, looking straight up at me. Sitting up straight, eyes open, looking straight up at me. You guys are like the best students in the whole world. Eyes open, you're in class, you're looking straight up at me. Hello. You're, yeah, you're one of my favorite students. You are one of my favorite students, too. Yes, you are. Each one of you, you guys are like so, so. Oh, yeah, you are, too, man. I come into class each and every single day. You guys make me feel so happy. Put big smiles on my faces. Oh, my God. I'm just filled with joy. Joy and happiness each and every time I see your smiling faces make me feel so happy. I swear to God, ladies and gentlemen, they're like the best students in the world. They really are. They really are. I, I, I've been teaching for years. And I've never had a more well-behaved class than this one. Isn't that right, class? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? I swear to God, like they come into class early, which I've never had before. Isn't that right, class? All right. and, and they stay during lunchtime to make sure they're all their homework is done. Is that right, Ross? Is that right? And then, like, even after school, they stay and they prepare the whole, like, classes and the homework for the next day. It's fantastic. Is that right, Ross? Is that right? So here's what I'm going to do for all of you guys. Since you were the best class I've ever had, I'm going to snap my fingers and we're going to go all on a field trip and you're going to find yourself at the fair right now. We're all at the fair. Now, I don't know about you guys, I'm a little hungry. Who wants to get a snack? You guys want to get a snack? All right, all right, well, I got a better idea. Everybody hold out your hand like this. All right, stare at your hand. 
I'm gonna snap my fingers. There's gonna be a giant ice cream cone with four scoops of your favorite ice cream in it. We're gonna enjoy a little ice cream treat right now. One, two, three, go! Start eating that ice cream out there. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise out there for our ice cream eaters. The more you cheer, the better that ice cream tastes. It's a perfect way to start a day at the fair. You have a little ice cream taste. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. It's more and more delicious. The more you hear the cheering out there, the better that ice cream tastes. But it's a hot summer day. It's starting to melt all over your hands, all down your arms. You don't want to waste one single drop, so make sure you get every single drop. That's it. Make sure you get every single drop. Oh my goodness, even if it's on your hands or on your arms, make sure you get every single drop. Now listen, we gotta move on. So listen, if you're not done eating that ice cream, everybody eat that ice cream as fast as you can. Just swallow it. You know what happens when you do that. <laughs> Brain freeze is gone. <clears throat> All right, everybody look in front of your uh, chairs. Look down. I'm gonna snap my fingers. There's gonna be a gigantic cow in front of each one of you. There's gonna be a milk bucket under that cow. And we're gonna do the cow milking contest game. One, two, three, go! Start milking that cow. Cheer on your favorite cow milkers out there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see you cheer the faster they milk that cow. Milk it faster. Milk it faster. The more you cheer, the faster they milk. That's it. Faster. 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 Alright, that cow's on the milk. Everybody pick up your milk bucket, stand up and show the audience how much milk you have in the bucket. Give them a big round of applause out there, ladies and gentlemen. That's a whole lot of milk. I don't know what we're gonna do with that milk, so on the count of three, the first thing that comes to your mind, that's what you do with the milk. One, two, three. Alright, everybody have a seat. Everybody have a seat. You guys, you guys just pull your, pull your chairs up just a little bit, just so we're all back in line. Right, everybody put your hand up like this, just one hand, palm up. Each one of you is gonna feel me tap the palm of your hand with my finger. As soon as you feel my finger tap the palm of your hand, you're gonna see a little magic gummy bear in your hand. Boom, boom. <laughs> look at him, oh, look at that magic cutie little gummy bear. Look at him, oh my goodness. Look at that little cutie gummy bear. Look at that. Look at him, oh my goodness, he's so pretty! Look at, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he's your favorite color, little gummy bear. Oh my goodness, he's such a little cutie pie. You can pat his head. Oh yeah, look at him, he's so cute. You start to think of me more, oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh, he's such a cute little gummy bear. But you know what guys? Since he's just been born into the world, he's probably cold, so what I think he should do is just, no, 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 take him, put him safely in your mouth just to keep him warm and safe. Don't chew him or swallow him or anything. Just hold him safely in your mouth so he stays nice and warm. Now it's a magic gummy bear, and he's gonna get start, you're gonna start tasting a magical, delicious flavor. As soon as you start tasting it, you're gonna start hearing him sing to you in your mind, and it's gonna make you want to dance in a chair. Turn up the bunny bear, turn up the bunny bear, turn up the bunny 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 bear. We give a beat up there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, little baby, you feel so good. You held gummy bear in your mouth too long. Quickly, put it back in your hands. Quickly. Oh my goodness, he stopped breathing. Quickly. Do some to bring it back to life. That's it. Give him chest compressions. Mouth to mouth resuscitation. This is an emergency. Somebody dial 911. Quick. Quick. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Quickly. Quickly. Please sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please try to call again? Quickly. Try it, try it to break the I don't know, the call didn't go through. People are having a gummy bear, guys. To complete your call, you must first dial zero. Thank you. Try zero, 911. Keep working on your gummy bears, quickly, quickly. The number you have reached, 911, has been changed to a non-published number. What happened, dude? The call didn't go through. Oh. <laughs> look, at, look at your gummy bears. Look at your gummy bears, guys. No, 
was not. Look, no, 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 look at him, look at him, look at him. He's just hypnotized. Look, oh, he's just, he's just fooling you. Look at that little fooler. Oh, he was just a little practical joke out here. Oh, poor little guy. Who's the baby or gummy bear? Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry and Jerry gummy bear. No, 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 he's just hypnotized. Look, he's just sleeping. I know. Here's what I'm thinking. All you guys, grab your gummy bears, like put them in your pocket or put them in your shoe. Put them in your sock. But he'll be safe down there. So listen, here's what I want you to Everybody promised to do for me, okay? At 12.23 this morning, you're gonna remember you have a gummy bear. You're gonna take it out, and then you're gonna introduce it to all of your friends. Will you guys promise to do that? Yeah? You guys make sure to get selfie pictures and send me one when they do it. They will do it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Everybody look up here at me. Right here in my hand is a magic, my hand is now a magic dancing hand. Everything my hand does, your head will do too. supermodel and bodybuilding skills. Are you guys ready to count this out with me? All right, so I'm gonna hear the audience, you're gonna hear the audience count from one to three. At the three, we're gonna do this supermodel and bodybuilding contest. Count it with me, one, two, three. Everybody sitting up straight, welcome to the supermodel bodybuilding contest. Supermodel, stand up, strut the uh, cap off, make sure you stay three feet back from the edge of the stage. Everybody stay three feet back from the edge of the stage at all times. Cheer them on up there, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. The more you cheer, all right, let's bring up our bodybuilders. Bodybuilders, stand up and flex those muscles. Big round of applause for the bodybuilders. Make sure you stay three feet back from the edge of the stage. The more you cheer, the more they're going to flex for you. Cheer them on. All right, bodybuilders, come on back here and have a seat. All right, bodybuilders, come on back here and have a seat. In a moment, I'm gonna to count to three. When I say the number three, the supermodels will be bodybuilders. The bodybuilders will be supermodels. One, two, three, bodybuilders, stand up. And flex those muscles. Big round of applause for the bodybuilders. Make some noise. The more you cheer, the more they're gonna flex for you. Cheer more. All right, bodybuilders, have a seat. And now for the contest you've all been waiting for, let's bring up our supermodels, supermodels. Weren't these guys really good? Give them a big round of applause. I think you guys were so great. Here's, here's what I think you guys should do. You should all give the audience a supermodel bow. Now how you do that is you bend from the waist. So everybody bend from the waist, all the way down. Here we go. Slowly straighten back up. As soon as you straighten back up, you just lost your butt. 